Melissa with the StockSwish.com and I'm reviewing SPY. The reason is because, guess what? We had the FOMC minutes announcement out today. What was the stock swoosh prediction? Hmm, let's see. <laughs> what was my prediction? Our prediction was the news would be positive, we would react positively, and we'd have an explosive move. I thought we would explode a little bit more, but the follow through could be in the gap tomorrow. Now, the minutes announced at 2 o'clock. So here we have it rallied at 203.18. I said 205 dream target today. What was the high? 203.82. So what I'm saying is that tomorrow, we did exactly what I said. I knew it. I told everybody in the webinar Monday, I said, go be long. Be long something. Be long a strong sock. can't make this stuff up if I tried. The end of the close of the year, the calendar year of 2015 was what? The low of the calendar year of 2015 was, was 203.87. Tonight, in the minutes, we basically retested that, 203.82. I am destined to make a billion dollars. Oh, I didn't even see this here, honey. Do you see this? Does everybody see this right here? <gasps> the low of the day before the day of the gap down before the anomaly day was 203.90 and the high of the day of the resistance of the day of the day before the anomaly day was 203.94. This is the same difference. Support and resistance are areas. Look, look! Oh my lanta. I'm gonna have to go over this in the room tomorrow. <laughs> I didn't even see that before the second. I, no one even gets excited as this is me, except for the fact that I'm long the market and I'm long the S&P and I truly believe in the calls that I make, but I'm telling you right now, the market is going to make a brand new all-time high this year and people think this is a bear time rally. It's not. It's not a rally of shorts. It's actually buying. Buying that came into the market and we never would have lifted like this, but I'm telling you, halt the day at the number because of the area I said today and I think we, my call, my call for the gap tomorrow is that we either gap up slightly, medium, big, Short, small, or neutral and rally. Even if we gap down a little bit, we're going to rally. Tomorrow's rally over the area that I just pointed out that I didn't even see until the second. That's it. This is a, an unbelievable level because I was thinking 205. I was thinking 205, 205, but it's actually 204. <clears throat> So the point I'm trying to make is that this is amazing. I predicted the market would have a positive reaction to the FOMC announcement. It did. I predicted it would blow. I wouldn't call this a blow. I call it a rally. But I just saw here why we halted in the in the move up into the area of 203.82. I just told you. I just showed you. It's resistance. But it's really not resistance. It's actually going to break over the resistance because Buying is going to come into the market and continue the rally up and through. Great call by me to stock switch. The market's higher. This is not a bear market rally. It's buying coming into the market. It's going to let the market higher. You should be long. I called into the room in the letter. I said a long, 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 long time ago, and the people who emailed us, I said, buy the market. You could have bought it for a penny. A penny for the options. Two cents. You'd be up. You'd be up already. This is, I've made a lot of good calls. That's for sure. But I'm telling you right now, this is one of the most astounding calls I've made because a lot of people thought the market was a downtrend. It never was. It was always an uptrend. I'll go over that in another video. But I'm telling you right now, the market's going to make a brand new all-time high this year and sooner rather than later. Have a great night, everyone. Email me at melissathesockswish.com if you want more information. I just saw something that I told you. And if we gap up tomorrow over the level, go along the market. I don't know if we do it, but I'm telling you, we're higher tomorrow. Whether we're neutral, Gap down, gap up. There's nothing that can change the market to be higher tomorrow on the level on the day unless a world calamity happens, which anything's possible. North Korea now has a bomb, but I'm telling you right now, I don't see it happening tomorrow. I think the follow through from the FOMC minutes happens tomorrow. Good luck, everyone. 
if you want to learn exactly what I do and take the trades and make the money with me, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Next class is March 20th and 21st. Have a great night, everyone. Have a fabulous evening.